I see, okay. All right, guys, so we're here in Chicago and we're at a hotel downtown. And one of the cool things about this trip is I was bringing my wife to, the, to a snake show for the, probably the first time in about 10 years or so. And so we're really excited about Tenley. Then as all of you all now know, let's get that. So of all of you now know, now as all of you now know, <laughs> so of all, so I don't know, I can't say that. I'm gonna have to cut all this out. <laughs> so as all of you now know, the show was canceled and so we're here in Chicago. We did some amazing sightseeing. I'll show you guys some footage from that. The main reason we're here, of course, is to uh, see you guys and deliver a bunch of animals. And so we're going to the show now, just to the parking lot and to the hotel there. We're going to meet a lot of you guys and just get a chance to uh, to see you guys and deliver some of the animals. Hopefully we can salvage some fun um, and, uh, and we're going to hopefully have a dinner tonight too with the people that are around. So let's get to that and amazing day. How cold is it? It feels cold. Yeah. All right, so we're here at Chicago Reptile House and meeting up with Chase. We've already had one customer we met at the show um, at the parking lot. So we're doing another one here. And we're gonna check this place out. We've actually never been to the Chicago Reptile House. So uh, let's we'll see what's up with Chase and we'll get in there. What's up, man? Hey. All right, elbows, elbows only. Elbows only. <laughs> Good to see you. How was uh, the drive? Happy to be here. The drive wasn't bad. Awesome. It wasn't bad at all. I'm happy we're in Chicago, but we're at Chicago Reptile House. So. so the cool thing is, even though the show's canceled, all, all the uh, all, a lot of our friends are here still. Yeah. And so we get to salvage a little bit of that. Still get to see it. everybody and hang out with everyone. And we're excited yeah. to do that. We're very thankful for it. Let's go in here and uh, find a cust couple customers yep. and find some friends and see what this is all about. Let's go check it out. But uh, I have brought a couple more to give to uh, Phil and and Brian. But so that's Brian Thank and you. Phil. That's so great. It's a good one, right? <laughs> so I was like, Who did, so, did you do it? No, a friend of mine did it for me. We, I paid for it, you know, like, told him, hey, this is what I want. And that's, that's what they do. That's really cool. I would like to see your version that you, that you yourself did. I, I didn't yeah. draw it. I just said, yeah. hey, how's it going? Good to We're see you. We're not shaking hands now. Come on, yeah, we got to bump elbows. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Got some kind of apocalyptic meeting. How's it going? How's it going? Facelix, yeah. Obviously, it's you gotta up the immunity. Exposing I'm not, I'm yourself to, to germs is the best way to make yourself stronger. So apparently, this is the place to be here. Yeah, yeah. so we've heard. Yeah, some, yeah. Come on, Wow. First time. I've never been in here before. Never been here? No. Really cool. All right guys, so really busy day. Pretty amazing though. We got to meet a bunch of customers at Chicago Reptile House. Um, met a whole bunch of you at the Holiday Inn. But the main thing was we had a fantastic dinner. We got everybody together. Um, probably almost 30 people um, just throughout the day. We kept inviting everybody and it was like a little Tinley. Um, got some Chicago pizza and had a fantastic time. So thank you guys so much for just um, making Tinley so amazing. Um, all you guys that we met and saw and just hung out with. Um, really, Tinley is all about the friendships and just about getting together with people that have similar interests, that that uh, share a love for these animals, and uh, that was the best part of it. So, thanks so much, you guys, and uh, we're going to get back home today. Hopefully, everything's flying normal and uh, we'll make our flight. So, we'll get back home and we'll get right back to it.
that's just hanging on. Wow. We don't see that very often. It's just connected to that other one over there. Inchi Het Lavender to a Confusion Yellow Belly Het Lavender. This will be really cool, but it's head to head, so the odds are going to be tough. She's gorgeous. All right, so just a little pro tip. What we do is the eggs actually generate heat in the process of incubating. And so if you put too many eggs in a box and the, egg, and the box is not very big, you can actually generate enough heat in the box to actually create a problem for the eggs. So what we're gonna do is, usually it's anything over 10, we split between two boxes. And these are actually extra large compared to typical egg size. So we're just gonna split these two between two boxes, seven and seven, and that way we know that these boxes will stay in the correct temperature range. There's only 12 eggs, I'm not sure I'm saying seven and seven, six and six. Here we go. All right guys, so we did some setup and we got some of the caging put together in the special project room. So I want to show you what we did. All right, so we put the bowlings in their cages. We got all the cords in. Some of you guys commented on the cords coming out front. We got all that fixed. Um, and it's just really, really cool to see. We got the setup and cleaned everything up and pruned the plants. But the bowlings are loving their new cage. the newest space. We're gonna feed him in a couple days. And uh, the other one's sitting up here way up high on his hide. Um, our perch up there, really, really neat to see. They're already crushing the plants. So uh, we give the plants a few weeks to kind of establish and everything. Looks like they're gonna be okay. But want to give you an update. We're still looking for some animals to put in here. We actually have a bead on a couple really neat animals for these. And uh, so I've actually been wanting some more of those satanic leaf-tailed geckos for this cage. Um, so we're going to get some of those here real soon too, but thanks for checking it out and we'll keep you, get you guys updated on it. All right guys, so it's Sunday, but we have some cool visitors here. What's up everybody? Hi, hey, this is the Powerline Reptiles team, yeah. Philip and Sam and Sam. Yeah. All right. Yeah, That's Sam. Cool. Well, I'll just cut there and just keep going like I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> All right. I don't know why. I thought like, oh, something like skipped it. <laughs> but check out this t-shirt they have. Show that off. Hey, it was her brainchild. <laughs> I'm just Take a model. Take me to your breeder. How great is that? Of course, it's us. We need a t-shirt like that style. It's really awesome. That's cool. We'll make it happen. That's fine. So they're here and they're picking up a couple of really amazing snakes and we're going to look at a bunch of other projects and stuff. Yeah. But let's, let's talk about what you got. You got this, what's this one right there? We're like kids in a candy shop. We right are. Uh, it's hard not to take everything home. So I finally got my dreamsicle female, y'all. What a but dream. She, she's being very shy right now. <laughs> it was man, all a dream. Check out Crazy. <laughs> I love this. This is going to be super cool. It's something I wanted since like I first saw them on the internet when I was like, man, I could have a snake one day. So this is super awesome. It's a dream come true. Really Absolutely. it is. Super awesome. And, then, and Philip got the one that I didn't want to let go. We had to pull it from his <laughs> clutches. <laughs> I made the mistake of not taking it off Morph Market and then they came asking for it. And now I, have to I demanded it. it. I just knocked on his door until he gave it to me. What do we um, have? So continuing with the double recessive thing, this is a, a het grail. So it's a super blade clown female who's a het for lavender and also has some really nice track markings for being head pie. So 50% so head pie with just incredible markers. So that's yeah. 
ridiculous power it's amazing. Grail it's is one of our very trip, favorite projects. We've been watching yeah. Justin progress on it for years. Yeah. And uh, it's super cool that finally we've got some like crazy powerhouse female in the project. It's going to be awesome. And you saw, you, we just looked at the uh, the Holy Grail. Yeah. And it's oh. worth it. Totally worth it. Amazing. So cool. Yeah. So that's just a dream for the future. So we thought we'd yeah. get a couple of females and uh, and knock yeah. it out of the park in a couple of years with them. We had a few other things that we may have to show at some point, but yeah. you know, yeah. we'll some see. surprises. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> All right, we're looking at some snakes, guys, and we're showing the bowlings in a second. Yeah. And uh, no yeah. way. <laughs> Fun stuff. That's so awesome. All right. <laughs> Kyle, yeah. he's checking out the bowlings. What do you think, man? Oh, it's like a dream come true. Because <laughs> I've seen these in videos a lot, but I've never right. come close to holding one in person. Checking you out. Their faces are really cool. He's like, oh, he always has one eye on me. Dragons <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are so cool. I always think they have like little bulldog faces. Like they just, the head seems like kind of big like and like, nose. yeah, they're yeah. neat. Oh, he's going all the way around. Check that out. I was also surprised about the coloration. You were telling me this is the, the baby coloration. With the red in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, this is the snake that I always think of when I think of iridescent snakes. Right. I think maybe everybody's seen the videos where it's just like a Shine. rainbow on them. But you can see it even on the red scales. When you put them under this, this light, it yeah. really shines a lot more. Um, it just, yeah. it, it's something about the natural, I don't know if it's the UVB, but you can kind of get a little oh, angles yeah. where it really shows. I actually can see the rainbow. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Super that's, neat. that's the girl, she's a little bit bigger still. Oh, oh this is the girl. The boy's hanging out there in the top corner. Nice. It's cool to see him climb a little bit. Yeah. I bet. Well, already, this girl is like very active, which is nice. And not in an aggressive way. Oh no, no, she's, they, these have never, ever struck at me, except for when I was feeding them, but that wasn't really me, I was really, <laughs> but, can't blame them there. yeah, but no, they seem like they're really very familiar with, with people versus caging versus rodents, they seem like they're really smart. Yeah. beautiful that, like, she seems to understand, like, you can take a more measured move right. without having to run. Kind of time for you to go back home. Wow, yeah, you're right. You can really see that rainbow glow. Yeah, I think if you take them out in the sun on a sunny day, it would really pop. Can't even imagine. Something about that spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird you're so calm. I'm used to doing this with balls. If I'm like, come on, dude, just get in. You just touch them. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah. She's so calm, cool, collected. Unspeakable.